Hello everybody, this is Khashir. Welcome to part 1 of SQLite tutorial. Uh, in this uh, tutorial series, uh, I'm not going to go just deeply how to work with SQLite or the working with the SQLite commands, but instead we are going to write a simple uh, contact manager to take care of our contacts. So if you follow my following if you've been following my tutorials uh, we've been doing same project and the database uh, simply was a text on the text file and uh, in hard drive so but this time we are going to do the similar program so we are going to write similar code but instead of instead of keeping the uh, database or keeping our contacts on the text on hard drive we are going to use real database and for that we are uh, using SQLite so as you know SQLite is the simplest uh, database out there and it's uh, serverless it's standalone you can uh, mostly you can use it for uh, personal small project or for uh, kind of practice and if you don't know the SQLite is a relational database management system which is written by C language and relational uh, database management based on relational model of data which one of the as aspects of this system is the data represented by tuples and the language for using this system is SQL or structured query language so beside this uh, technical or theoretical stuff uh, basically we are going to work with database and that's what we store update edit our data securely so uh, so let's start to write our code and our code will be we are going to design a simple class in that class we are uh, having uh, some method like add method update method remove and um, for example list method and etc so basically at the end we need we will able to add the record to database edit the record delete the record and get the list from database so we just create very simple um, small program for personal as a personal contact manager all right then let's import our modules first of all of course import SQLite 3 and i'm using uh, atom uh, ide and uh, my file is tutorial.py but you you can name your file whatever you like and we need to have os system os time and win sound but OS time and Vincent mostly you, I, I'm using them because of creating some kind of interactive way for you. You can just avoid it. You can just play and go with SQLite. And let's create a class. Create we call it manager. Class manager and constructor will be very simple. Under in it, of course, self and there we will have self.name equal just string self.phone also as a string we are not going to use integer here self.address so but you can use integer later on in your own program for example if you want to have like format check on a specific area of your country or, or, or your city and you want to have format check if uh, someone um, insert wrong number with the wrong format you can just check it and uh, like reject the number and so what we need we need to have add method add self and we need to have what else define for example update update pass and define remove uh, 
and for example get a list or define get li or list no let's let's not call it list let get list itself and pass and at the end define terminate right and we need two more um, methods one is menu and another is main and uh, that would be all of our class everything packed in one single class and so let's take care of the menu what we will have there so every time we run the program first it will go to the menu to show us the options and after we will see where we are going from there so os.system we just clean our screen before everything else and we say all right print for example options you can design how you really want and now we have print one and print empty print and another one is print one add print option two uh, will be Add remove for example option 3 print update and for example list and print number five will be terminate or exit okay and in our main menu uh, in uh, main uh, method we should call the menu function so we say self dot menu And we call, um, create one object from the class or instance of the class manager, or we call it contacts. Contacts manager equal manager. Let's see. Okay, clear my screen, and so everything goes fine by now we don't have any problem and here we can say contacts manager next manager dot main oh, my caps lock. and one more time okay now we have option add remove update list and terminate okay so how we can make it a little bit more interactive that's why i'm using sound and so for that uh, i put uh, some sounds beep with wind, uh, wind sound and some delays so every time we call the option it will make one beep something like wind sound that beep with let's say 2000 and 50 and after that we just need to make time that sleep 0 0.30 or 0 0.05 very fast not like barely noticeable but it will make it a little, little bit more nicer so here one here 
and one here, one here, here, and there. And then let's clear our screen. Oh, if I save it, yeah, I save it. Clear the screen and come here. Right. Okay, so also we can make them a little bit uh, like make separation between them, but that these are not really important. All right, and after let's create our uh, choices. So for that, it's very simple. We just make one variable called choice. Um, choice equal input and here we will have enter your function number okay and the rest is just a couple of if statements choice equal equal one then Self dot add elif choice equal equal two self dot update elif choice equal equal three that um, we can add it for remove if choice equal equal four what was the four one get list self that get list and if choice equal equal five self dot terminate and something right here oh uh, yeah this one is wrong sorry it was wrong and else for wrong entry We can print, we can make some beep, mean sound, um, that beep, and for example, 2500 for 100, and print itself um, wrong entry, please. Mm, try again between one to five. So the user will know what he has to do. And time to sleep for two seconds and self that menu. So it will call the menu again. And in menu, uh, and main uh, function we also can clear actually we have one OS that clear here but you see every time the main menu because the main menu is not going to just call the main uh, function uh, or method won't just call the main uh, menu method so here OS dot system and CLS Okay, let's try one more time. What we got? All right. Now, if we, for example, at six, wrong entry. Please try again. Okay, and every other function which we haven't 
write or every other uh, method we haven't write anything for them when we hit we will go out of the program so that's it but we will not have any error and uh, now another main thing we need to take care of is in every time you are working with SQLite database you need to create a connection file and the connection file is kind of storing the information about your database inside um, inside the file so if you are making records tables everything will be in that uh, file or connection file uh, so first thing we need to do is first every time we, we run the program it should check the, the directory the current directory or you you can expand this program however you want you can put the directory a special directory for just taking care of the database file but I I just put it in the same directory as a, as a program itself so every time we run the program it will check if the connection file is there or not if it's there it will just prompt something like okay connecting to the database and if it's not it will uh, prompt the connection file doesn't exist creating new connection files please wait blah 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 and some some kind of just show you what's doing so here if we need to use something called os path is files method so if um, os.pad actually os module is uh, very useful it's not just about uh, writing uh, making the program interactive so uh, i thought <laughs> i forgot what i'm going to <laughs> do with this so anyway uh, os.pad is file and i call the file connection is file connection in the same directory then database object will be skillite tree dot connect to the connection okay and uh, we just time that sleep one win sound that beep to just inform like what's going on and 50 and after um, print something like connected to database all right actually we can uh, no no let's because everything will happen very fast so at least this way we will we can know what we are doing time that time that sleep one or two seconds and after self dot menu but if that file is not there so else print connection file doesn't exist okay and again we just copy this just inform and after we can say um, print creating new connection files file creating new connection file okay create a new connection file and, um, and after what we need to do oh, and maybe no time that sleep one and again we create an object database db equal sqlite on dot connect to connection all right and we create a courser so courser is something like um specific command line 
control in SQLite. So every time we want to run some commands in SQLite, we have to run it by cursor. And it's just a variable, but normally the used cursor. You can call it, I don't know, command or I, I really don't know. It's up to you. But it's better to just keep it standard. Um, but before we create that cursor, let's see our program it works. So after we create this database, ob uh, database object, the uh, SQLite object, um, let's inform the user that the connection created. Okay, so here we can um, again beep one more time. Okay, and mm, and just write uh, print that connection file created. And we are connected to database. Right. Again, connected to database. Okay, um, that's it. So after we just give it a little bit of delay, time that sleep one or two, so the user can read the message. Okay, and at the end we call the menu function, so self or menu method. Okay, then let's see how it works. And before that, here let's I not, not rename, let's I delete this connection file so you can see like right away when we uh, run the program, it will create a connection file if there's it's not there so all right so uh, maybe I, I need to use more delay to see the message so, see. so here mm -mm -mm. print maybe one space say like two also here we have two and also two two second two seconds and and also one space here okay so let's delete this connection one more time let's just check Thing is working as we want. Connection file doesn't exist. Creating a new connection and the connection created. Okay. And now this time when we go inside and run the program, check connected to database because it's already there and it will bring up the menu. So in, in next tutorial, we are going to slowly, slowly build up the methods and we will see uh, how fast we can finish this tutorial. Uh, all right, that would be it for uh, this tutorial. Uh, if you like my tutorials, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and I see you in next video.